1994, anarchy, misery, murder, of fear. These are the weapons of dictatorship. One voice is heard. The screech of the guillotine. France lies bleeding. Paris, an open wound. The grab for power is on. Maximilian Robespierre. A fanatic with powdered wig and twisted mind. Sir Just. On a serve roses and blood. Boucher the politician. Always on both sides, never in the middle. Danton the soldier. Savior of France. Francois Barat, citizen of the Republic. An honest man fighting for the life of his country. Calien, another honest man. In 48 hours, France a dictator. In 48 hours. Unless... we fought for in the revolution are being destroyed. Who is in power now? Maximilien Robespierre. He's demanding dictatorship. He's a madman. France must never have a dictator. You're the only man who could stop him, General. I'm in exile, Charles. A political prisoner. I don't dare escape from Austria. My face is too well known. You'll have to take my place. Your orders, sir. I no longer give orders. I'm no longer the Marquis de Lafayette. I'm a general without an army, a Frenchman without a country. All I can do is give you my blessing. And Strasbourg will help you. Show him this ring. to Lafayette. You have come just in time. The plans are all set. Death. I demand death for the enemies of France. I denounce Danton. I demand death for Danton. I demand the right to be heard. I do. Assassin. You stand accused, guilty, condemned. Who accuses me? I. Dictator! Silence! Your trial is over. It hasn't begun! Citizens! What is your will? Come to plead for your husband's life, you're late. Maximilian, what has come over you? Danton is your friend, your very good friend. Together you saved France. Without Danton, where would you be today? I can't let personal feelings interfere. The people have found him guilty. The people? But you are the people. They do what you say. Take out an appeal. Who can I appeal to? Only you. Look at me. Answer me. Stop playing God. God? The revolution abolished God. It's only the will of the people. And the people have spoken. That's my chair you're sitting in, Boucher. I just wanted to see how it fits. Danton liked to sit in that chair, too. And to think that he had supper with us only last night. Ah, oh, it's amazing how fast you lose friends these days. And you never know who's next on the list, Fouché. 
Must be quite a thrill making out your death list every night. Well, you said for me, here I am. What's on your mind? I can't decide whether to promote you or denounce you. Where in all Paris would you find anybody as disloyal, unscrupulous, scheming, treacherous, cunning, or deceitful as I? Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. You'd have to do some tall looking, Max. Don't call me Max. You're not dictator. Yes. I will be. Not without my help. I know too much about you. Get out of my chair. Is that the way to talk to your chief of secret police? I'm sure you, Max. Citizen Barak. I arrived just in time to see Danton on his way out. Exactly as you planned, wasn't it? Danton was my friend, not yours. Why should you feel badly about it? Because Danton was a good soldier. Without him, France would have been overrun by the armies of Europe. It was yesterday. Like all good soldiers, he outlived his usefulness. Read that. What is it? It's a motion I want you to place before the convention. Why, this would make you dictator of France. Yes. We didn't storm the Bastille to make any man dictator. I'm not any man. I and my party will support no man till there is an end to this mob violence, secret police, and wholesale murder. What you call mob violence is the Committee of Public Safety, which enjoys the confidence of the people. Anyone who challenges the committee is an enemy of the people. Where do you belong, Citizen Barra? Not in this room. I don't think you handled that too well, Max. Zara is not a man to be intimidated by words. He's the only man who can recommend you for dictator before the convention. You can chop his head off. No, but Zara has many devoted friends. And their heads begin to fall, I think he'll come around to my way of thinking. There's no one in Paris who dare touch any of his party. Not even I. No, but there's a man in Strasbourg who isn't afraid of anything. A man named Duval. Duval? You know him? No, but I know his record. 500 executions in a single month. It's almost as good as yours, Max. I've sent for Duval. He arrives at the Blue Goose Inn tonight. You go there and bring him to the bakery. I'll meet him there. How will I know him? It's one snake to another. You'll smell each other out. Welcome, citizen. Welcome. I'm Duval, public prosecutor of Strasbourg. You have dinner. Just show me to my room. I'm expecting an escort from Paris. See that I'm not disturbed till he comes. Rest assured, citizen Duval. Good night, citizen. You left orders not to be disturbed. You see me. Which is his room? Please do not make a disturbance. Come back tomorrow. Which door? Oh, must I waken all of your guests? Uh, the first door to the left. Who's there? A 
messenger from Paris. Don't move. What's the message? It's so dark in here. I can hear in the dark. Speak. It's a written message. I need light. There's a candle on the bureau. Light it for me. Just hand me the message and you can go. I was told to wait for an answer. He's like the candle. Why are you so anxious for a light in the room? Don't you recognize the voice of Duval? I've never met you before. Citizen Duval. What if you don't know me? What good will a light do? Or are you afraid I might not be Duval? Who else could you be? That depends on who sent a message. Only two men in Paris can send messages beyond the border. Robespierre and Barat. Which one sent you? It's a dangerous question to answer in the dark. One of us has to make the first move. Courtesy demands you speak first. you do with the body? My men were waiting below. Quick, watch the message. Robespierre's man will come to pick me up at any minute. Marat wants you to report to Robespierre. Gain his confidence. Even if he must betray some of us to keep his confidence. Few lives won't matter. But Robespierre must never become dictator. How could I prevent that? He'll get further orders from Paris. From whom? From me. Well, if we're to recognize each other, I suppose we might as well have a look. I had no idea such prosperity went with the revolution. You don't seem to have suffered much either. What did you expect me to do when you walked out? Stop breathing? I couldn't explain to you then. You can explain now. We'll have a bottle of wine over old times. Perhaps I can get the innkeeper to come up and play the violin. Explanations always sound better with music. I don't blame you for hating me. I don't like to deprive you of that satisfaction, Madeline. I don't hate you. I just don't care anymore. I'll be at the cafe the living dead. After you've seen Robespierre, please come there, Charles. Please. Seems I remember an appointment we had four years ago. Only one of us showed up. A stupid one. Oh, Charles has grown up to be a smart boy now. I'll be waiting. I wouldn't count the minutes. That. She came to see Citizen Duval. Hmm. Interesting. Citizen Duval, your escort has a... What's the matter with you? You look so different, Citizen Duval. Different? Why should the appearance of a public prosecutor interest you so much, citizen? You haven't, by chance, a guilty conscience. No, no, citizen prosecutor. I'm a patriot. It was a week. Yes, of course, the week. So. You're the terror of Strasbourg. <laughs> I'd recognize you anywhere, citizen Fouché. You had a visitor, I see. All work and no play? I thought you enjoyed your work. The uh, real pleasure of my work went out with the guillotine. It 
it's all over too fast now. Even hanging. That lasts but a few moments. No, Citizen Fouché. What this country needs is an elegant, slow death. Give a man four hours to die. It's worth watching. Let's try it sometime, shall we? People of Paris are becoming more stubborn every day. We have the same trouble in Strasbourg. I congratulate you on your record there. It's becoming monotonous. We'll do our very best to make it exciting for you here. Roche, why don't you take a walk? The streets aren't safe this hour of the night. Oh, well. I expected an older man. So did I. So I'm the eldest of our group. As far as May, I was 36. Boucher is 35, and Danton would have been 34 had he lived. How old are you? I uh, hope to reach your age anyway. However, age makes men tolerant, and uh, these are no times for tolerance. We're living in a perpetual state of violence. People have become a bloodthirsty mob that thrives on human lives. Each day, this month's biggest quarter. There's only one man who can control this beast, and that man must be dictator of France. What's there to stop you? A black book. A black book? My secret file. In it, a list of the names of all the enemies of France and the proof of their crimes. It's in this book that I select the daily quarter for the guillotine. Yesterday, this book disappeared. Well, uh, why not make up another one? For the convention. Once they know they're on the list, they'll all join forces. I can hold them one by one, but not as a group. That's why it's imperative that I get this black book back before its contents become known. That's the real reason why I sent for you. Nobody knows about it but you. Whom do you suspect of taking it? I know of only one man who, if he had the book, and have the courage to use it against me. Barat, one of the leaders of the opposition party. I'd uh, like to meet this Barat. Well, that won't be easy. He's gone into hiding until the convention meets. You'll act as special agent for the Committee of Public Safety. Here's your authority for power over all police personnel. Boucher, too? Over everyone. Except me. You have 24 hours. Not much time. Convention meets day after tomorrow. We must have the book back by then. And if I fail? As you said, Duval, these are no times for tolerance. I don't tolerate failures. Where? Where do we start? Start what? Whatever it is, aren't we going to work together? I think tonight calls for a one-man job. Well, I'm the man. Yes, but she might not like the idea. Can't your diversions wait? <laughs> I may only be in Paris 24 hours. All right, driver. Just is the name. The shadow of Robespierre. Wherever he goes, I go. Except here. He doesn't like women. Come on, join my party. Some other time, I suggest. You don't like women either? I'm a little tired tonight. No one goes to bed in Paris. It isn't safe to go to bed. I've had so many friends, all killed in bed. Fouché, secret police. Thanks for warning me. I have a friend in Strasbourg, Henri Dupont. No doubt you know him. Well, I uh, can't say that I do. Good. 
He doesn't live in Strasbourg. <laughs> Very amusing. Do you know something? I don't think you are, Duval. No? You don't look like a butcher. You know, at first glance, one could almost mistake you for a human being. Saint-Jacques, we missed you. You see, I am a human being. Choose your friends unwisely. Saint Just is an enemy. Who sent you? For your reception. My friends are sometimes too impulsive. Come on up, Charles. Close the door, Charles. Come over here, Charles. Closer. Drank it up in buckets of sweet wine. Tell me about the women that went with the wine. They were all called Madeline. They had your eyes, your mouth. The same false smile. Tell me more. Make me jealous. They even kissed like you, with soft, warm lips. Like this. Exactly. What well, a stranger, Charles. We really don't know each other anymore. But I have no intention of renewing the acquaintance. And why did you come here tonight? To find Barat. Unfortunately, you're my only contact. Why should you want to help him? Because I'm a Frenchman. But there's only one man who could save France and put an end to this terror. There are. I wish I were that confident. I trust this man, Madeline. Have you met with Robespierre? I just left him. Were you followed? I'm sure I was, but there was no time to lose. Day after tomorrow, he's going to ask the convention to appoint him dictator. Robespierre must never become dictator. Ever hear of the black book? The death list. Well, the book's gone. Who has it? I was hoping it was you. If only I did have it. I could whip the entire convention into a frenzy again. It's a secret police. They've got the cafe surrounded. You have to go this way. Hurry! Just one more kiss and I'd have melted. Citizen Barra, you're under arrest. He's my prisoner. Was. Is. I'm afraid you're a little confused, Eva. I'm the chief of police. You were chief of police. My authorization from Robespierre. Good 
work do, Val. I was afraid Fouché was going to outsmart you. Come in, Barat. You've had a strenuous day, Duval. I'll see that our friend gets to prison safely. Good night. delivered Barat right into the hands of Saint Just. That wasn't part of my plan. I saw it with my own eyes. What are you waiting for, Talia? Shoot him. Which side are you on? Well, looks like I'm in the middle. But if you'll give me a chance, I might be able to save Barat. We're wasting time. For heaven's sakes, Madeline, can't you see I'm not lying? Frankly, no. Just because I refused to kiss, you'd have me killed. Since when have you put such a price on your kisses? Shoot him! You know I'm not the ball, so does she. Give me a chance to free Barra. There are only three men in our party who could possibly have the book. You know who they are. If he's lying, we can get rid of him later. It's worth the risk. Exciting enough for you, Citizen Duval? You've seen Castell? And Bernard, and now Landis. Somebody got here first. Then you know about the Black Book? Mm -hmm. Nobody keeps secrets from me. Nothing has been disturbed in any of the rooms. Your uh, companion has good eyes. No one of these men ever had the Black Book. Then why were they silenced? Only Robespierre can answer that. Or perhaps you, Citizen Fouché? Who? Me? Well, much as I dislike to tear myself away, Looks as though I'll have to. Unless, of course, you still insist on shooting me. I made a mistake, Charles. Your mistake almost cost me my life. Your life isn't worth much unless you save Barat. It doesn't sound like the Madeline who had her arms around me a while ago. But I guess you're pretty free with your arms these days, aren't you? Don't tempt me. I still have the gun. Whatever happened to the Madeline I once knew? You had a chance to find out. That chance won't come again. You're sure of that? Positive. You still want to shoot me? I could kill you. What you say, Saint Just, disturbs me. I'm not sure, but it looked as if he were trying to help Barat to escape. A man's record is perfect. Duval's record is perfect. Huh? What do you mean? Fouché told me about an incident that happened at the inn. The innkeeper didn't seem to recognize Duval the second time he saw him. Any proof? Duval's a powerful man in Strasbourg. I can't afford to antagonize his element there. You'll have proof. His wife arrives at noon today. Citizen Duval. Send him in. Well, good morning, gentlemen. We had a profitable night. Barra's in prison and three of his best men dead. What about the book? That's why I'm here. Your time is getting short. Did you kill Castell, Bernard, and Lambert last night? What makes you think it was me? It wasn't Fouché in prison and I didn't do it. That leaves only you, Saint-Just. Let credit fall where credit is due. 
I'll never find the book if he keeps killing off the only people I can question. Dead enemies make good friends. You know, if I'm to be of any service to you, you've got to take me into your confidence. What is it you'd like to know? In all three rooms of the slain men, nothing was disturbed. No attempt was made to search for the black book. I want to know why. Perhaps you'd better answer that, St. John's. You have the reputation for being a clever man, Duval. Suppose you find the answers. Thank you. I will. We should hold him till we're sure. I always believe in giving a man enough rope. need your help, citizen prosecutor, terror, Strasbourg. I'm not Duval. I'm Charles de Bigny. Lafayette. I'm his agent. The trick is at this time. Last night, Castel, Bernard, and Lambert were assassinated. By whom? Saint-Just. Then it's all over. There's only one way I can save you. We've got to find that black book. I told you it was none of my men. Then why were they killed last night? It's part of some fiendish plot of Robespierre. None of the rooms that the murdered men were searched. If they weren't killed for the Black Book, what's behind it all? Fear. Divide and conquer. The plot is old as Caesar. Robespierre's plan is to break up the party. Since the book disappeared, some of my men have already come to distrust each other. Last night's murders will make them even more unsure. By the time the convention meets, there'll be no one to oppose his dictatorship. But if the book's still missing, how will he dare face the convention? Some of his own men are listed in that book. Then why haven't they come forward? Whoever has it wouldn't keep silent. One man would. Who? Robespierre. Robespierre? He never lost the book. It was never out of his possession. But then why? Don't you see what he accomplished with a single eye? He's had us all on a wild goose chase searching for something that was never lost. That's why those rooms weren't disturbed. There was nothing to look for. But if he has it, then he will become dictator. Run! Run! Dorbini. Yet you should find it, and I'm not there. Give it to Talion. You have the courage to use it. You'll be there. Hurry up, God! God! What's your hurry, my friend? The convention doesn't meet till tomorrow. Unlock this door. Is that an order? It's a command. By whose authority? By authority of Robespierre. Just a precaution, Duval. If you are Duval. I agree. I have good news for you. Your wife is on her way from Strasbourg. She should be here at any minute now. Why don't you just relax until she comes? Robespierre and I wouldn't want to miss the happy reunion. Citizeness Duval, send just. <laughs> Greetings. Head Citizen Duval. I apologize for inconveniencing you. I was looking for an excuse to get to Paris. There are so many things I want to buy.
I, I... Now what has the silly boy done? Nothing. It's just a slight misunderstanding. My apologies, Duval. You see, in my position, one can't be too careful. I compliment you on your thoroughness. You too, Sanchez. Come, Bobo. We have so much to do. <laughs> yes, my love. Wait for me. I was told I could find Citizen Robespierre here. And uh, who wishes to see Citizen Robespierre? Madame Duval. Inform Citizen Robespierre and Madame Duval desires an audience. Citizen San Just can help you. At your service, madam. I'll speak to no one but Citizen Robespierre. We all make mistakes. No one's perfect. Where is Madame Duval? I am Madame Duval. Get him! Well, that was close. How'd you know about Duval's wife? Uh, one of our men recognized you at the border. Seal took the place. Citizen Duval. Greetings, Patriot. Greetings, Patriot. Nice Patriot. I just didn't think I was Duval. But of course, you proved otherwise. Of course. Sad just is a fool. Uh, 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 uh. Please, Charles. No violence. You once spoke about working together, Fouché. Well, the offer I made was to Duval, but I make you the same offer. After all, we're both out for the same thing. But I know where it is. Where? What are you after? Once Robespierre is eliminated, I want joint power with Barras. Only Barras can give you that. But Barras in no position to bargain now. Oh. What's your answer? Me or Robespierre? You're the lesser of two evils, Fouché. You have my word. We break it in this room. What for? The Black Book? In Robespierre's own room? was never out of that room. What? Oh. 
<laughs> what a clever rascal. I'm afraid I underestimated Max. Hurry up, Fouché. You forget this is not my regular profession.
Haven't you, citizen? Friendly cut last night. Artichokes? Yeah. This customer is asking for artichokes. Artichokes are out of season. I was told I could find some here. They're very expensive. How many did you want? Three large, three small. I thought you'd never get here. I almost didn't. Did you find it? The gendarmes are going to the marketplace. They must be looking for you. What about your sister's phone? Good. You can hide out there until the convention meets tomorrow. Keep this. It will be safer with you. I'll go with Charles. Never get out of the city in those clothes. I'll get you some others. We'll meet tomorrow at daybreak at the Cafe of the Living Dead. Good luck. Ask anyone in the market, they'll tell you who we are. I'm not interested in who you are, but who you gave your papers to. Is it against the law to lose one's papers? No, but it's treason to give them to a traitor. Well, if a traitor found our papers, we can't help that. Where's your horse and cart? In the stables where we always leave them. Your stall is empty. Oh, well, they've been stolen. Arrest them! Make them talk! They won't talk now. We'll catch them at the farm. Come on. Show your papers. I'm the Vicomte Charles de Bigny, and this is Marie Antoinette. <laughs> See here where you passed through only this morning with a full load of cabbages. Sure sold them awfully fast. There are a lot of hungry people in Paris. Where's your farm? About four kilometers from here. Then you must pass through here often. Don't recall seeing your faces before. Cabbages don't grow overnight, my friend. You raised. Chickens, pigs. Pierre. I'll, uh Cut you through on one condition. What's that? Next time you come through, you bring us a couple of chickens. Well, I don't know. You'll have to ask my wife about that. Only one chicken. Two chickens. Small ones. Oh. I was born on one. What is it? Wake your man. Run to the fields. I'll hide the cart. Charles, wake up! The soldiers are coming! Everybody, 
anybody home? She's Grandma. Where is she? Who's Celeste? My, my, my cow. Where's your mother and father? They, they went to the market. Have you seen any strangers? Have you? What do you want here? We're looking for a man and woman, traitors to the Republic. Well, find them in that bed. This is the farm of Pierre and Marie Blanchard, isn't it? Pierre is my son. Your son and his wife have been arrested for treason. No. If we don't find the traitors, they'll both be executed tomorrow. If you know anything, Grandma, you'd better speak up now. I know nothing. You'll never get anything out of these farmers. Bring me some food and wine. of the Republic. But she what? He's thirsty, too. Come here, little one. Would you like to be a soldier when you grow up? You could have a horse, sword, and a gun. You'd like that, wouldn't you? But a good soldier never lies. He always tells the truth. Have you seen any strangers today, a man and a woman? You can tell me. One soldier to another. Why get a horse? You can have mine. You said? More wine. Well? Not a trace of them. Anywhere. Can't get very far with a horse and cart. Maybe they've gone to the next town. They've got to be in Paris by tomorrow morning. This is as far as they'd go. Keep searching. I left the men those orders. Oh, I'm dead on my feet. I'm going to take a nap. Wake me up in half an hour. You're not going to disturb the children. I'll take the cot. Get me a pillow. Mind. 
I said never mind. to cover the moon. Charles de Vigny taken the book. To whom? 
I'm asking you for the last time. <laughs> Make her talk. <laughs> Up to your old tricks, eh? I know a much better way to get the black book. What is your way? It has to be quick. The convention meets in less than an hour. Let her down. persuasion than any of your tortures. I'll meet you at the convention. You've done well, Charles. This day we'll see the end of the terror. I'll go back to Madeline now. Take some men with him. These gentlemen. Not so rough. Congratulations. You came very close, Charles. Not quite close enough, it seems. Oh, I uh, have something for you. Where is she? Where is she? Pierre, entertained by Robespierre. It's either Madeline or the book. You can't have both. The convention meets in less than ten minutes. Without this, Robespierre will become dictator. But on, many more will die. France will die. Another trial. Bara is not a prisoner at the bar. You are not judges. You are statesmen and representatives of the nation. In your hands lies the fate of France. You have not to pass sentence for or against a single man. This man is already a self confessed traitor by opposing the will of the convention. It is you, the members of the convention, we must take a resolution on a question of public safety and to decide a question of national foresight. It is with regret that I pronounce the fatal truth. Barra ought to perish rather than this convention be torn with disunity. Barra must die that the country may live. <laughs> about the throat of liberty, and both ends are held by traitors like Parra and his party. I demand a decree of accusation against them. I demand a declaration of national emergency. I demand a suspension of all legal procedures. 
I demand that this convention by unanimous vote vest in me the authority of sole and absolute dictatorship. No! No! No, no you dictator! I denounce Robespierre! If you want, take it. One more life isn't important. What is important is the will of the people. I've fought to give the people the right to exercise their own will. I've fought to give France back to the people. Blood has poured freely. And if more blood is needed, you can have mine. The greatest death that a man can die is for his own people. You will be a mob without a leader. If I go, who takes my place? Let the man step forward who can follow on the steps of Robespierre. I have led you through the darkness. If I sought the power of dictatorship, it was not for personal glory. Your will is my will.
Shakespeare's last monument. He planned on having statues built of himself. All he leaves behind him is stale bread. The end is always being put to some use in France, citizen. The art of being a Frenchman, knowing what comes next. Have you any idea? I am neither a Frenchman nor a politician. I am merely a soldier. Well, my friends, must be off. Perhaps we shall meet again sometime. Oh, uh, by the way, I don't believe I got your name. My name is Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte. I'll try to remember. Oh, <laughs>